Hello and welcome to the Coin Monitor. This is Manoj Dara. So with markets sliding and inflation plaguing the global economy, losses and layoffs mounted in the crypto industry. The recent string of high profile blowups and also exacerbated the sentiment. That's what that's the reason why cryptocurrency markets are trading lower. So Bitcoin slid further below $20,000 and Ethereum flirted with the $1,000 mark tracking the US stocks that are set to open lower again amid the usual anxiety around the higher inflation and higher interest rates. which was hardly eased by comments from Fed chairman Jerome Powell and other central bank chiefs on Wednesday so Dow Jones futures were pointing towards a 382 points lower or 1.2% down while S&P 500 futures were hinting towards a downward of 1.5% and Nasdaq 100 futures were down by 1.8% so S&P is on the course out its worst first half of the year since 1970 so this is actually a big news which everyone has to keep in development so market were hindered after the securities and exchange commission again rejected grayscale's effort to register its bitcoin trust as an exchange traded fund however grayscale has sued the sec in response and so what does this news means for uh, for the market we will explain you an etf which is which have set a precedent that could have greatly expanded the potential investor base for both the trust and crypto investment funds provided support to an unabated selling at a time when cryptocurrencies market which is continue to struggle as investors turn cautious over mounting defaults of companies so the market is currently seeing the downturn of massive unsustainable business models but many crypto entities are yet to unravel so this is coming this word is coming from uh, ftx ceo sam bankpet fried which you have already highlighted yesterday as well so he claimed that there are several still several third tier exchanges that are insolvent but have not yet exposed suggesting more instability may transpire going forward as well so with bitcoin mining becoming less profitable and revenue declining sharply many publicly traded industry giants sold more bitcoin than they generated last month expecting an even bigger sell off that's what he is expecting and sam bankpet fried has also revealed that he is keeping a close watch on bitcoin miners we have been uh, we have been talking about this news since yesterday so crude oil prices drifted ahead of a meeting of opec and it allies that it widely expect to be a, a formality paving the way for an increase in the output of uh, of which is uh, roughly around 6 lakh 48000 barrels a day from august so bitcoin the world's biggest cryptocurrency was trading lower by 4.5% and it was trading at 19061 level ethereum too fell by 8.6% to trade at 1018 level so keep an eye on this news uh, in a related news crypto derivative exchange dydx announced that it will be abandoning the ethereum ecosystem and launching its own blockchain in the cosmos ecosystem the new chain plans to replace dydx current platform that is built on starbor on ethereum scaling solution platform that makes use of zk rollup technology which allows for cheap and quick transaction so that's the news coming in from the ethereum world so ic15 index of cryptocurrencies was down 6.3% and was trading at 25144 points So Binance BNB was down 4.6% and it was trading at 208 levels. Polygon Matic fell 18% and it was trading at $0.43. Solana Sol is down 11% and it was trading at $31.4. Ripple's XRP token traded at 0.31 Uh, level and which is down 6.6%. So keep an eye on this news. Former Ripple CTO Jeb has accelerated XRP selling last Sunday. That's what the news reports are saying. Currently he is only left with 81.53 million XRP left in his wallet. It's been almost 8 years since Jeb, the former co-founder and CTO of Ripple Lab, has been dumping his 9 billion XRP holdings since he left the company back in 2014. So what does this mean for xrp so analysts believe that this could be a good news for xrp investors as it will considerably reduce the selling pressure on the crypto so xrp has fallen roughly around 60 to 70% uh, in this year cardano ada token was down by 7% and it was trading at 0.44 dollars avalanche avx was trading at 16 dollars and with a fall of 11.35% shiba inu was down by 1.6% Polkadot was down by 7.4% and it was trading at $6.7. Doge, the popular meme coin, is down by 4.3% and it was trading at $0.063. So let's get a technical view from our technical expert, Mr. Milind Vaishnav. Milind, welcome on Crypto TV. 
good evening uh, manoj and while we take a look at uh, today's action in uh, both of the frontline cryptos that is uh, bitcoin and ethereum we see that uh, both of them have been uh, trading on extremely weak mode uh, talking about ethereum first ethereum uh, uh, is down uh, close to 7.68% today while we speak and it's trading just above uh, $1000 mark and so is the is the bitcoin bitcoin also hasn't got a very good day today it continues to remain in uh, the falling channel but uh, it has lost uh, close to 5% uh, trading just uh, close to 19000 level both ethereum and Bit uh, and bitcoin have uh, lost some ground and on the downside while both of the cryptos may take some plunge we will see bitcoin uh, performing relatively better i mean uh, uh, if you see here both of the cryptos are down but uh, bitcoin is down uh, close to 5% whereas uh, ethereum is uh, is down uh, close to 8% on a daily basis moving on to the daily trade setup uh, we have seen that ethereum has seen a constant constant uh, downside since yesterday evening uh, while it generated a sell signal near 1216 so since then bitcoin is is inside the falling channel and there is a continued downtrend on the daily continuous chart this is a valid trend line that uh, we can draw here on ethereum because uh, if you see that uh, whenever it has uh, tested this trend line it has uh, created some supply point and there has been some uh, pairing of ground uh, from this level this is even more important because this has seen a consistent downside uh, serious downside the moment it uh, tested this level of 1082 this uh, trend line is falling in nature but ethereum is oversold as we can see here ethereum is oversold rsi is below 30 is oversold levels but it is now deeply oversold so it may not be surprising if we see some technical pullback happening in uh, ethereum however all this technical pullback will find resistance at this falling trend line and since this uh, trend line is falling in nature with each passing hour we will see the potential resistance point coming lower so in a way we can conclude uh, for the day's trading range that uh, both of the cryptos remain weak and ethereum and bitcoin both are due for a technical pullback because of they being technically deeply oversold on continuous chart will find their upsides remaining capped in case of ethereum the upsides or any technical pullback we might uh, that we might see will remain capped between 1050 and 1070 level broadly speaking ethereum remains weak and all all um, upside uh, should be best used to create short position with adequate uh, stop losses in place similar is the case with bitcoin this is the continuous chart of bitcoin just like ethereum as we can see here uh, rsi is below 30 and it is in the oversold zone bitcoin also has uh, gotten quite weak since uh, early morning today it spent the entire night trading sideways but uh, by early morning while it was trading above uh, 20100 it is started getting weaker and has formed a low point close to 18900 levels now that since it is oversold some possibility of uh, technical pullback cannot be ruled out however just like ethereum this also remains in the declining trajectory we can draw a couple of uh, trend lines here the st uh, the structure here is slightly different than that of ethereum it's little bit more resilient however 19700 was the major support that bitcoin violated on the on the downside so all technical pullback in bitcoin will stay cap and find resistance above 19500 to 19700 zone so broadly speaking um, both of the crypto stay over so both of the cryptos are due for some technical pullback and ethereum will find uh, resistance or will find uh, the upsides getting capped between 1050 and 70 levels whereas bitcoin will find the upsides cap near 19500 to 700 levels thank you so much thank you so much milind for giving your technical perspective view that's all there is in today's the coin monitor this is manoj dara signing off but stay tuned to watch crypto tv for more such interesting update until then thank you